Welcome back. LT Volk here with episode 2 of Fallout playthrough. In this episode, we're gonna continue on to Vault 15. Alright, let's do this. And here is some new locations for us. Raiders, right here. We've got the hub and the junk town. But we're just gonna head on east to Vault 15. Hopefully we're not gonna encounter anything nasty. But let's see. Got some praying mantis looking things. It's unhurt. Alright. I'm gonna take a shot at that guy first. Wow, it's got quite a few HP, huh? Ian is able to finish it off for us. Now we're just gonna fire on the one that attacked us first, because it's probably the next one to move. Got head for 7 HP. And then 1 HP from another one. Which is not great. But we're still doing fairly well. Ian is able to finish one. And the other one still hit me. It's okay. Let's see. Got 280 XP for all of that. We see a dead peasant with some items for us. I'll take everything. Even though it takes so long. Anywho, let's, uh, let's continue on our way. Hopefully we're not gonna get waylaid again. All right, Vault 15. Got the desert entrance here. Looks like it's a shack on top of the manhole. It says, a small shack is all that remains of this area. Fortunately, your records indicate a secondary entrance to Vault 15 there. This is an old shack. It is barely standing and seemed to have been looted long ago. Alright, let's descend. And we recovered some health through the travel. Like I said, uh, a lot of times your health recovers with time. It's gonna end turn here. The rat is deciding to move in. Works for me. Let's reload the pistol. And kill off some more rats. There's the second one. That was killed by a critical attack. Move in a little bit closer here to fire off our shot at it. There we go. Alright, Ian, come on. Get close. But they're really large rats. One could even call them rodents of unusual size. Ha ha ha. Which was, uh. from the movie Princess Bride. And they actually use that reference in uh, New Vegas as well. Alright, so we killed off all of those rats. Which is enough to level up. So let's do it. So at every three levels, you get a perk. Which allows you to choose... Um, to choose it for some bonuses. So I think we're just gonna get awareness 
and it gives you a more detailed information about the enemies or allies when you examine them. And as always, I'm gonna pump in half of my points into my small small gun skill. Couple into speech and the rest into the lock picking. And possibly science. Yeah, we'll we'll keep them. You can now also keep the points and they carry over for the next level up. And we have now a lesser mole rat. And you can see right there it says 22 uh, HP. So the awareness skill is fairly easy, uh, fairly useful. Allows you to see exactly how much uh, health the enemies have. And one of our shots was a critical hit, so it knocked it down. And then Ian was able to fire on it and kill it off for us. Alrighty, let's continue on. Got another rat here. Shouldn't be an issue. And got another one here. Get a little bit closer. And fire. Hit it for 11 HP, which kills it. And we got flares here as well. That we're gonna take. Pretty much, you know, the law of the wasteland. If you see it, you grab it. Alright. And we got four rats in this area. Shoot on this one first. Was able to kill it as well in one shot. Now we've got two left, one left. There we go. Pretty good. The red attacks hits us. And we're gonna finish it off there. Looks good. I don't think there is anything else in here that we can use, but I'll just double check. Nope. Okay. Sounds good. And now here is um, a drop off, an elevator shaft. So you have to use a rope to descend. And now we can use this tied rope to go down a level. We got some more mole rats. It's okay, we can handle them. Me and Ian. And there I was able to hit it with a critical hit, which kills it immediately. Or maybe these ones got less HP. Yeah, they only have 9 health points. So it's actually fairly easy to kill them. And we're gonna go room to room. Killing off any and all enemies that are there. And loot some items as well, hopefully. There is one... And the mole rats actually give quite a few more XP than just the regular rats. Yes, sir. Let's see. Yep, and we still got enough ammunition to be able to get through this area. And these are the vault rooms, which are not as fancy as the ones in the show. Seem to be pretty spartan, actually. 
but this wasn't one of the good waltz, as they said. <laughs> there is Ian running up there. And I think Catherine said that uh, her vault was overpopulated, so... Maybe that's why it's not as good. Let's grab some 223 ammo here. And hopefully we can find some better weapons. Let's see. Take a fire at this guy. And combat. The other red sauce and moving in. Straight to its death. Yes, sir. Got it. And let's see, there is five enemies here and three over there. Sounds good. Let's reload and see what's in here. Got another rope and a nice Mad Max style jacket. From Mad Max 2 with Mel Gibson. So now our AC is much better and we have some damage resistance, so... The rat missed. And it's gonna pay for it with its life. And end combat. Kill off this rat and shoot at the mole rat as well. And we missed that shot. It's alright though. Ian got it. Finish clearing this room. And we got a rat in the shower area. Or bathroom area, rather. Come on. Let's... Let's move. Very good. And we're gonna just attach the rope right now. Just because. And then we're gonna finish off killing the rats and... Grab that ammunition right there. Rat mist. Good. And there is only a couple of them left. Got that one. Now we're just gonna fire off on the last one. Hit it and killed it. Come on. Let's grab this item right here. It's got some more 223 ammunition. Which is. Ah, no. Nothing. Never mind. Let's go down one more level. And here we have a really big mole rat. Might be a problem. Let's kill off this guy. Once again, missed a 95% chance shot, which happens. More often than I like. Oh no. That's that wasn't the plan. And this guy's got 26 HP. It attacks us for one hit point. 
die, big mole red, die. And I don't think they got anything on them. But still got plenty of XP. Really good. Kill this guy. And actually back up. Kill this rat. Man combat. And I see some ammunition. It's got some 10 millimeter armor piercing bullets. Which is useful for the enemies that wear like heavy armor, metal armor. But not really useful against the rats and the mole rats. Let's see what else we got here. Nothing else, huh? But there are a couple lockers to loot. So hopefully there is something in there that can use all that 223 ammunition. No. It's just got grenades and some explosives. And my character is not really good at throwing, so... Throwing grenades is usually a bad idea. So here, let's uh, equip this SMG, which is gonna be very useful. Does the same damage as the pistol. Same range. However, it has the ability to use the burst shot. Which fires several rounds at the same time. But for now, let's just use single shot. To do some damage. Alright, move in, and kill it. Wow. So far, I think we missed three 95% chance shots. But it happens. Not much you can do about it. Alright, so... Here, we got... Alright, let's uh, finish killing this rat and then read that uh, text. Shoot at the rat. Kill it. There we go. So it says here... The large amount of rubble blocking this corridor looks impressive. You don't think that it can be moved even with high yield explosives. You are able to determine that Command and Control Center is definitely buried under even more rock. You will have to look for the water chip elsewhere. And we got 500 XP for that. So this is a dead end for the water chips. Don't see anything out of the ordinary. Got this nightstick or crowbar we're gonna take. And gonna finish off killing the rats. Because why not? Extra XP is extra XP. Move in a little bit closer here and fire off two of our shots. Alright, killed it. Only needed one. Now shoot at this mole rat. Hit it and killed it. Pretty good. And here it says... This is uh, the library. You've seen all the equipment before in your vault library. There looks to be a little of value left in this room. 
Unfortunate. But we'll still explore. Let's see. And turn. Ian takes his shots. But I was able to finish it off. Which is a good thing. Got another rat. Dead rat. Oh, you're a rat, huh? You're dead rat now. Alright. Finish shooting that guy. Even though it's pretty far. Ian was able to kill it off, though. And we got two more rats in this room. One now. But we'll definitely should be able to take it out. There we go. Kill it as well. And I believe we can loot this locker. That has some Desert Eagle ammunition. It would be great if we could find a Desert Eagle to go with that ammo. Or the 223 rifle. I'll take that. Or that gun. And here a little quip says, the rest of the vault in this direction had delicate equipment that has probably been ruined and destroyed. There is a very low chance of anything remaining of value. Wow. That's unfortunate. But let's take some shots at the rat. Mole rat. We were able to kill it with just one shot. Okay. One dead. There are a couple more left, I think. Yep, here's one. And we should be able to finish the two in the same way. Get close to it, and as it gets close, shoot it right in the torso. Because I chose that um, uh, trait on the startup that um, subtracts one from my weapon attacks for the AP. Because normally it would take 5 AP to shoot this uh, SMG. But you would be able to do aimed shots. So you could um, spend an extra AP. So total of 6. And then take an aimed shot with penalty. Like at, its, uh, at an enemy's leg or its eye or its groin. And that's normally how I play it. But this time I just decided to take the fast shot and see how it goes. I think that's about it, right? We can't really get anything else. Fair enough. Still, we're able to get quite a bit of XP. And actually, after we get... 820 more XP will get to level 4. Okie dokie. And I do realize that uh, in the show, the main character Lucy says okie dokie a lot. But I promise you I'm not copying her. If you look at some of my older videos that uh, predate the show, the playthroughs, I say okie dokie occasionally. So it's just a happy little coincidence. 
Alrighty, let's return to Shady Sands to resupply. Hopefully we're not gonna get waylaid by the enemies. Go to the entrance. Seth, you wanna trade with me? Alright, he's got something else to say. Thank Dharma you here, Wanderer! My girl, uh, Tandi, Aradesh's daughter, has been kidnapped. We believe the raiders have her. Where are these raiders? They're to the southeast. Please hurry. I don't know what they'll do to her. Okay, I'll get her back to you. But first, let's trade. So he goes, Where is Tandy? Why haven't you rescued her? I need more supplies before I can tackle those guys. Please hurry. Only get the gods know what they're doing to her. Alright, let's barter. And what can you give me? Do you have anything? No. That's not good. Let's see, the guardhouse. People here have stuff to trade, right? But... Anybody? Anybody? Anything good? Yep, and they just... Got the floating text, I guess. Let's go talk to Aradash. Hopefully he's got some supplies to trade. All right, Aradesh. Thank goodness you came. I am in desperate need of assistance. My daughter Tandy is missing. I do not know what to do. Have you tried to save her? My people are not skilled in this. Already three patrols have gone out to look, but none returned. Will you help me? Okay. Who could have taken her? Seth and I believe one of the raider clans is responsible. Retribution for our resistance to them. Take this spear. It was found where my daughter was last seen. Okay. I'll check it out. Please, talk to Seth. He knows much about these raiders. And Godspeed, Wanderer. First, though, let's, let's trade. Oh, you don't have anything, do you? Well, here's a knife. Give me all your caps. Almost all of them. Because I'm kind of running low on ammo, guy. Let's see. The doctor might have something. Doc, do you have any ammunition? Let's trade. He does not. But we'll give him one of these knives in exchange for 40 caps. Alrighty. Reslo, tell me something good. Reslo goes, you look distraught. Are you in need of assistance? Tandi has been kidnapped. Hmm. Tandi is gone? I find this hard to believe, but maybe she ran away with Seth. I know that they have been eyeing each other lately. Aradash was always a little bit of a prude. Perhaps it was too much for her finally. I don't think so. I think that she was kidnapped. How awful! If that is the case, I hope she is not hurt. Who is looking for her? Many people, including myself. If she is hurt, it could be bad. Here, take these. I hope that you won't need them. There, Razlo kind of gives us two stim packs and some fruit, I think. 
So we'll just continue on towards the raider's camp. Right after Ian follows me, because he's been blocked by that peasant. But anywho, I'm gonna go in and hopefully save Tandy. Because that's what heroes do. Let's move down to the raider's camp, which is located right over here. And the way this encounter can go, uh, if you've got a high lock over 9, I believe, and you're wearing that Mad Max leather jacket, there is a chance that the raiders will mistake you for their uh, former leader that was killed by his son, the current leader. And this band is called the Hans. So we'll see how it goes. Here I'm gonna unequip my weapon just because the raiders might attack you or aggro if you got the weapon equipped. And let's see, we'll talk to this guy. He goes, what do you want? I'm looking for a woman named Tandy. Seen her? Nah, I ain't seen her. Why are you asking? Nothing. Just looking for a friend of mine. Ah, okay. So here it didn't happen like that. They think that I am still just a regular guy in a jacket. But the description of the building says, You see a small building with a series of tents nearby. The inhabitants look dirty and mean. <laughs> dirty raiders. And here there are a couple women. Looks like they're bruised and battered. But our first priority is to save Tandy, who's right here. So we're gonna try and talk our way out of this peacefully. And then come back and clear out the raiders. Before us is Garl, the leader of the raiders. Let's talk to him. What do you want? I've come in peace to negotiate the release of Tandy. Hmm, well, then what do you offer for her release? I represent a threat you don't even understand. Do you really want to risk our wrath? Hmm, for some reason I believe you. You may take the girl, but do not return unless you seek our wrath. And there is Tandy being released. She says, let's get out of here. I agree. Let's go, Tandy. I'm gonna take you back home safe and sound, and then we'll come back and clear out this den of degenerates and raiders. Okie dokie, let's go back to Shady Sands there. And we've gotten quite a bit of experience. Got 500 XP for freeing Tandy and 400 for returning her. So let's talk to her. Hi! I was afraid that you were gone and I wasn't going to get a chance to thank you for rescuing me. Aw, oh, that was great! Action! Adventure! Anyway, if there's anything that I can do for you, you just ask. Nope. That's it. Thanks. Well, thanks for talking. We don't get many strangers here, so it's always good to talk to new people. Well, <sighs> see ya. Bye. Okie dokie, Tandy. And let's talk to Aradash. I'm sure he's gonna be overjoyed that we got her back safely. Aradash, I brought your daughter back. I will be forever in your debt for your courage and bravery, Wanderer. Here is your reward. Thanks. Until we meet again, my friend. May the water you find in the desert not shine at you in the dark. See you later, Aradash. And we'll also talk to Seth real quick. Hopefully he's got something new to say. I don't recall if he does or not. 
But if he does, we want to experience it, right? Let's do it. Oh, so I guess he doesn't really have anything new to say about Tandi. But it's alright. And here we're just gonna level up real quick. And go clear out those raiders. Gonna put... Or rather get our small guns to 100. And then split the rest between speech and lockpicking. Like before. So, should be good. Alright, on to the raiders camp. Let's go! And after we're done clearing the raiders camp, uh, we're not gonna return to Shady Sands, because there isn't really anything new there. We'll just continue on to either the hub or the junk town, one of these cities. But first, we gotta survive the raiders camp. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna equip my SMG here, and we're gonna go all the way west. And the reason for that is there are some enemies in these stands that would rather attack and kill off, because if there is no enemies that Ian can see, but there are some aggro that enemies, say, in the building, He'll just like charge head first to try and fight him, which is a limitation of the AI. Here we have one of the raiders with a spear charge right at us. Well, here is a couple of 10 millimeter bullets for your trouble. And, and turn. Ian was able to kill off the melee raider, and I'm gonna take my shots at Diana here. Critical hit, knock her down on the ground, and there you go. Kill her. Patrox, the guy with a gun here, a Desert Eagle nonetheless, fired his shot at me. So I'm gonna. Return the favor. There's one, two shots. And Ian was able to finish him off. So if you kind of like keep Ian stationary where he's firing at the targets, he's not using all of his movements to move towards the enemies. All right, I'm gonna fire at the guy with the spear there. And it sounds like I was able to kill him. Alright. That works for me. And here I'm gonna move away five hexes and fire my shot. And Ian was able to finish her off. Very good. Ooh, and they got a whole bunch of goodies that I'm gonna take. Yep, yes please, I'll take it all. And Diana should have a Desert Eagle that we'll give uh, to Ian. Alright, let's trade. I'm gonna give you all of the Desert Eagle ammo. I didn't pick something up? What happened there? Uh, yep, no. I don't know what happened. I thought there was uh, an actual Desert Eagle on her. Oh, tah! That's why. I forgot, you gotta drag every single item individually, of course. And I probably didn't loot this lady either. Nope, there we go. That explains it. But now, got some armor. 
better armor that we can equip and give to uh, Ian as well. Steam packs and some drugs. Buff out and mantats. Buff out increases your strength and endurance and mantats. Uh, increase your intelligence and perception, I believe. But we'll read through that later. Here, let me finish loot this. We'll uh, equip better gear and then tackle the main building. So my character is gonna equip one of the... What is it? Leather armor, yeah. Take that, Ian, I got some stuff for you, so let's trade. You gonna get one of the armors. Wow, that's a lot of, a lot of caps. Um, you're gonna get a Desert Eagle and you're gonna get some Desert Eagle ammo. And all I ask in return is some caps. There we go. Sounds good. And let me just grab the Desert Eagle from this guy as well. And I'm gonna equip it as my secondary weapon. So if I need to, I can fire off a burst from my SMG or fire single shots from the Desert Eagle, which is, or rather was, very popular weapon in the movies in the late 90s. In the Matrix, if you recall, you know, they had uh, Agent Smith, I believe, using it. There is a raider right there with a spear. So we just gonna fire with the Desert Eagle and see how it works. Pretty good damage there. And Ian was able to finish off this guy. Let's take it all, more caps, lots of loot, always good. And I think I'm over encumbered, yeah. Alright, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll have to do some inventory management after uh, the battle is done. And... I'm not playing Iron Man mode, just so you know. I do save and reload occasionally, just because the game can be kind of buggy. Uh, for example, it like freezes up on this fight for me sometimes, so... I edit it out when you see a white flash between transitions, that means uh, I reloaded the game. So. Com come and clean. <laughs> All right, and here uh, some more enemies. Let's uh, fire on them and see what happens. Raider uses a stim pack. Ow! Ian shot me in the back. <laughs> Ah, uh, good old Ian. Always good for that. Alright. Fire on this guy. I think we killed him. And move out of the doorway. Wow. And it actually happened off screen. But Ian was able to critically hit Garl right there the leader of the raiders which is great news for us uh, we're gonna fire on Garl I guess 
seems to be the most dangerous. It's got like 80 HP. Ow! Ian, stop shooting me in the back, dude! And here, I'm gonna fire on this guy who is in my face. But is in my face no longer, and then one into the garl again. There we go. Got killed. I'm kinda in dire straits here. But I think we'll be alright. Now you can heal in combat, but it uses up like 4 AP I think. Something ridiculous like that. Oh, that's why. I was out of ammo for my Desert Eagle. There we go, take this guy out, and turn, and just fire on the raider. I'll do the same, it's just regular shot, and now I'm gonna heal. And we're back! Haha, <laughs> very good. Ian reloads and charges in. The raider threw his spear at him, but missed. Let's uh, finish off the raider. All right, raider, get out of my face. There we go. Ian missed. Who is this lady? She's got 9 out of 15 health points left. Let's move up. A couple of axes. I guess more than a couple axes. One more. Yeah, the line of sights can be kind of wonky here. Alright, we'll just move in closer. How about that? Ian killed Gwen. And... We're gonna end combat here real quick. And let me reload my weapons. We got some XP for saving these uh, women slavers, or slaves rather. The raiders are slavers, there we go. And there is one lady right here, and two dudes with the spears. Alright, let's uh, initiate this little encounter. Alla, that's her name. Fires and misses, and I'm just gonna unload with the SMG. What are you doing, ladies? Oh. Well, that was fortunate. Alright, run! Yeah, you're welcome, but get out of here. And up here, we're gonna try and aggro the two dudes with the spears. And hopefully they come out so we can see uh, some of the animations from... Critical hit deaths, which are kinda cool. Actually, right here is a good opportunity to use burst because they're really lined up. So I'm gonna burst on this guy. And didn't really do much, huh? I mean, it did really good damage, but that's about it. 
But if it was a crit, he would like get destroyed, tore up by bullets. Pretty nice, nifty animation. All right, let's go for this guy now. And Ian, finish him off. There we go. No more raiders. We got them all. Yay, us. And let's see, any items there? Some ammo? Yeah, we'll take that. I had maximum weight capacity. All right. Let me see what we can drop. Rocks, I don't think we need any more. I'm gonna read both of these books to get our outdoorsman skill up, pass some time so we healed, and to lighten the load. And let's see. Exit out of this. Outdoorsman right now is at 10. And after we use it again, should be higher. And as you can see, reading books passes the time. Now our outdoorsman is at 19. All right, yeah. All right, Ian, got some more stuff for use. To fulfill our deal of getting a piece of the action. There we go. Take that. It's all you. Anyways, what happened here after the fight was over was uh, several minutes of... Or like a dozen minutes of me looting and organizing my inventory. We ended up picking up a whole bunch of ammunition, a whole bunch of weapons, some leather armor, got desert eagles, shells, and this double barrel shotgun. So, yep, there we go. And I think it's actually a pretty good point to uh, stop this episode. In the next episode, we're gonna start traveling towards Junktown or the Hub, whichever is closest. And explore those areas and do any and all quests that are available. Anyways, thank you for watching and see you soon.